A day of a long haul pilot revolves around bringing passengers from one side of the world to the other. Well, that is correct. They got a lot more preparation into this stuff. So today I got on a PR flight from Frankfurt to Mauritius. It's a normal flight with a little twist to it. We've got people from the public relations department with us. That means the whole crew is fine with being filmed. That gives me the opportunity to take you guys along as real as it gets. So as a well-prepared pilot as myself, of course I started packing one hour before I had to leave. But now that hour is over, we are ready? We're gonna go to the airport now. So, we are on our way to the airport now. We've got two hours until check-in. I like to give myself a bit more spare time if I'm filming a video like this one. I haven't looked at the flight stats yet, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna take around 11 hours to fly to Mauritius. I'm really excited for that flight. We've got an ex Edelweiss aircraft, that's what I know by now, and that is an A330-300. We have three pilots today, a three pilot cockpit today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some rest, which is really good. But other than that, I have no clue about the flight yet. So I'm gonna check that out when I'm in the base or our office. And yeah, it's kind of weird not having something, a topic to talk about. It's just like a day in the life stuff here. So I tried to t take you as real with me as possible. But yeah, we we're gonna see how that turns out. Well, I'm excited. So let's continue. Back up on my grizzly on my body. Yeah, yeah. Ask me how I'm doing, doing awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fake energy, that's why you lost him. Uh, uh. If you come around, it's time it costs you. Yeah, yeah. I can't judge nobody, no, we all fucked up. Mm. Before we leave the parking lot, I must say, I really love that parking spot here because you can overlook Lufthansa Technik and uh, DFS, Deutsche Flugsicherung, and HC Tower right there. But yeah, one hour, 40 minutes to the briefing. We're gonna go take the elevator down now and uh, whoop, 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 and head to the bay. I don't trust nobody, only God I trust. Mm. Over traumatized, or the squad my bus. Probably get your body, then the squad locked up. Look. Nearly made it. Whew. I've been in my head, I don't know which way to turn up. Thought it was forever, but relationships in turn now. And I'm sick of trying, man, I start to feel the burnout. People come and go, that's a lesson that hey I learned. Um, I briefed myself now. And I thought it's time for a little update as a day in the life of an airline pilot. So, flight time will be around 10 hours, 45 minutes. I've always filled out a little sheet, looks like that. I'm just gonna blend it in now. And what do I put on there? Well, basically date, aircraft type, the crew composition, the flight number, our call sign, departure, departure time, arrival, arrival time, and the fuel. Then we've got the, the um, our pilot in command, which is the captain. Then we've got our SCCM, our RCM now. Um, which is the head of cabin and then um, really important stuff e-tops for example we've got H, uh, hotel alpha alpha bravo is Addis Ababa what time are you going to reach that airport or in which time it is relevant to us if we depart on time then the runway in use there what type of approach and the uh, runway length the little line next to it that basically means I check the no temps and there are non-relevant no temps to that specific runway or taxiways or nothing. So basically I do that with all my ETOPS alternates, then I check the hill or the mail, so the technical status of the aircraft, nil means nothing in there, or good. And then I write down some notes, which uh, when I do the briefing, for example, which happens sometimes, if the captain lets us, uh, lets the FO do the briefing, and then I basically write down when it's going to be maybe a bit bumpy because of some thunderstorms. We've got some thunderstorms going into Greece today and then at the end um, reaching Mauritius. And then basically just a little checklist on the right hand side. Do I have my EFB, so my electronic flight kit? Um, did I get the Gendex? Did I check in? Just stuff like that. Yeah, that's about it actually. So now I've got around 40 minutes left. I'm probably going to get a coffee. And uh, then I meet the crew. Really excited for this one since we've got public, uh, since we've got people from the PR team uh, with us today. I hope I can show you a bit more stuff than in other videos. So it's gonna be worth staying and watching. And um, yeah, let's fly to Mauritius. <laughs> So the 
walk around is completed now. Um, I'm going to be the third pilot on the flight there and I'm going to be pilot flying on the way back. We've got 40 minutes to um, off block time. So I'm going to go upstairs now, pair the aircraft with the rest of the crew and then yeah, we've got to fly to Mauritius. Checklist. Take off runway. One eight four eight. Tikas. Pex one and two. Off. Line up checklist. Go. One eight kill for take. Okay, well that's good. Okay. Yeah. Rolling. Ready. On runway one eight. On my break officially, so I've got the first break since I'm not pilot flying or monitoring on third pilot. I'm third reeling today. Um, so I've got the first break, which is around three hours. Um, half an hour after departure up to one hour be before the arrival, we basically separated into three breaks. Like I said, I got the first one. The good thing is I can do a video right now down here because nobody else is here because all the cabin crew members, they have to do the service right now. So I'm pretty much, I got all that space for myself. That is my little koi, my little bunk uh, for the next three hours. And I'm gonna crash here now. Probably watch one episode of Suits and then um, sleep a bit. It is, what time is it Germany right now? It is, half past five so i'm not that tired but i have to get some sleep in since we're gonna fly through the night tonight yeah i guess i'll see you later in the cockpit hey there, everyone so the break is done i've got seven hours to go now so it's a pretty long night still but we're just over uh, we just overflew Luxor in Egypt. From there on, we're gonna go into Jeddah now. Reaching Jeddah airspace, which is right here if you look at the map. We're gonna climb to flight level 390. And um, yeah, other than that, weather is good so far. We've got clear skies and pretty good night views, I would say. I guess I'll talk to you later. So, um, we've got a flight time left of 1 hour and 30 minutes now. Um, we just went into the airspace Antananarivo, hope I pronounced it right. Basically uh, to the right or to, to the east of Madagascar. And now we're gonna set course to Mauritius. Flight time, like I said, 1 hour and 30 minutes left. And uh, with that said, there's not much else to say. I'm gonna be sitting at the back there for the landing again. Because, um, the captain will come out of his break soon, then Philip will be sitting here, captain there, and I'll be in the back. But flying back, I'll be power flying, so I'm looking forward to that. But today it's just uh, watch duty. I would say we're gonna land in Mauritius now. That's what you're gonna see next. <laughs> Hello, 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mauritius. We've been here once and now we're back again. Always expect an ILS Zulu 1.4 RP or an RP 1.4. This day we had the ILS Zulu on Rame 1.4. Starts out up here at Imkov, flight level 60 or above. Then what you just saw the city that was Flick Flock positioned right here, in front of that little lagoon here. And then we basically continue all the way to the southeast of the island up to the airport down here. The thing Mauritius is, it has a big mountainous area which is basically all that here. And because of that we have a little steeper approach than normal. We have an approach or a glide slope of 3.5 degrees and added to that is a downslope runway of minus 0.5 nine percent and you have to take that into account when coming down on a 3.5 degree glide slope plus a downhill slope you have to take that account in your flaring and into your approach you want to be early stabilized that you don't get too fast under the glide slope etc and then we've got a minimum of 470 but other than that that approach is pretty straightforward all across the island landing on runway 14. that morning was just stunning we had some rainy clouds at the beginning of the island but coming to the airport it was just marvelous it was such a beautiful morning and with that said enjoy this beautiful landing in Mauritius Three hundred hundred above minimum two hundred One hundred fifty forty thirty twenty retard five Squadus. Ah, oh, we made it. I'm over now. That was a long night. It is uh, 22, 7 a.m. in the morning in Germany right now. And we finally made it to the hotel. We, it took us around one hour, 15 minutes with the bus. But now I'm over now. I hope you enjoyed this day in life as an airline pilot. And um, yeah, it was a pretty nice flight. The sunrise was spectacular. But other than that, I'm gonna crash. Whoops. I'm gonna crash right there now, cause I'm over and out. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, have a good one, see you in the next one.